we know being a single mom or single parents is really not easy at all. You know, being uh, the time like 26, 27, uh, I was literally a flight attendant on reserve, which is on call. So I never knew my schedule really in advance. I continued and completed my university degree at the same time. I had a second job and I was being a mom to a one one year old baby. I don't know how I did all of that at the same time, having no finances, being very, very poor and having no car as well. So, and also mentally drained from getting out of that type of of relationship. So you really have to reinvent and relearn how you are as a person and to love yourself because you've allowed that for so many years. For example, a thought of you're, 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 you're dumb. I don't want to say a a word that you're, you know, you're not good enough. You hear all of that every single day. You start believing that, right? Until you get out of that environment and you're with your family and your friends and you're like, no, you're not dumb. You are a smart, educated woman. So you really have to focus on taking care of yourself first. That's really going to be my biggest advice self love we won't say that word enough because you can't just say i love myself you have to take actions what it is to you self love is it dressing nice is it taking a bath is it reading is it something what do you love to do do that little one thing every single day and second thing it was your my vision my vision was i was going to complete my degree no matter what kind of challenge was around in my life. So all I had was I'm going to finish my university degree. That was my only focus, no matter what, no matter how tired, I didn't sleep the whole night. I had to study. I had to write a paper. I had to go to work. I had to take care of my daughter that didn't sleep. No matter what, I was going to get up and finish my university degree. So that really helped me to move forward and then get some help. Really, there's no shame in getting help because there's so many people like me, like other women that have gone through it and they're willing to be there for you. And it's so, so important to have that loving support.